you doing? What's going on in your life right now? Are there things that are changing? Um, what are you looking forward to? Think there'll be any unexpected things coming down the road? Is life getting more difficult to deal with? I ask all of these because when we share this time together, I don't want it to just be a devotion so we can say we've done a God thing. I believe God wants to be relevant in our lives every single day. And that he is relevant in our lives every single day if we allow it. So, I heard something recently about this person that was going through like some training um, of what it meant to just pay attention to things that were around them. And it started out, they were placed in a situation where they're in a room. And in order to be most aware of what's happening in the room, they position themselves in a place with their back to the wall and they can kind of observe everything that's around in front of them. And the person that was training them gave them a lot of specifics about how to pay attention, they like knowing where the exits are and paying attention to different things. Well, um, then that person that was training them took them outside and said, now what's different about being aware of your surroundings here than it was when we were in the building? And they said, well, it's more difficult because not only do I have what's in front of me, I've got everything all around me too. And they said, you're exactly right. So there's more that you have to pay attention to and I'm not getting into all the security and what you need to do. But my point is, in a way, I think this has happened to me recently. Because you see, for the past three years, things slowed down a lot. And I think we all know why. And so it was, I think in some ways, easier for me to pay attention to God and where he was and what was going on and how he was speaking to me. Well, I don't know about you, but my calendar is getting more full now. I'm having more conversations. I have more meetings. I have more responsibilities, more opportunities to engage with people and things to do. And I'm finding myself being a little overwhelmed. I'm finding myself with my calendar being full, I'm finding myself not being able to fit everything in that used to not be a problem fitting in before. And I, that overwhelmed feeling led me to realize, you know, I'm not thinking that I'm as aware or connecting to God in the way that I was a year or so ago. It was easier for me at that point to make time for God because it was like being... In that room, there was less that I had to pay attention to. Now that there's more, it takes a little more effort. But I believe we need to be intentional about being aware of where God is. God's all around us. But we can get so focused on dealing with the, the schedules that we have, on the business around us, on the things that we need to fit in, that we miss where God is. And so that needs to be a part of us paying attention. And as we do that, then God helps us to be able to process what's going on around us. There's a scripture that I think helps put this in perspective. It comes from Psalm chapter 32, verse 1. It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. So I don't know if you're like me where things are getting a little busier or not, but whether they are or not, if we're open to it, I can tell you that God wants to lead and guide you and help you go in the direction you can go no matter what type of day you're having. And if you do that, I promise your day is going to be better than if we try to do it by ourselves. So go with God and have a wonderful day today.